that it's a zoo life. It's all hands on deck all the time to keep the exotic animal park running full of happy, healthy animals. The staff includes everyone you might expect tour guides, veterinarians and animal lovers who do the dirty work of cleaning and feeding day in and day out. But one young woman is unlike the rest with a skill that she calls a gift from God. Dakota Lee says she's an animal communicator. It's a zoo life owner Bobby Jo Abrams calls 22 year old Dakota Lee a young female Dr. Doolittle. You'll be skeptical in the beginning, but when you know your pets and then you talk to her, you're like, oh my gosh, this is real. And it's, it's amazing. It's so fun. I've talked to the serval, I've talked to the sloth, I've talked to the zebra, I've talked to the alpacas, the, the wolf. Lee says she can talk to animals, reading their thoughts and directing her thoughts back to them. And I understand, you know, why you wouldn't believe in something like this. The first time I heard about animal communication, I thought it was, I wanted to run the other direction. I thought it was very strange. She believes it's a gift from God nurtured during her time at Carroll College in Montana, where she recently earned a degree in anthrozoology, the study of animal and human relationships. It's very simple. I'm like, just, I don't know, watch me do what I do. Give me a chance to either um, talk to your animal or, or talk to an animal that you know. Um, and if it's not real, fine, you can, you know, continue believing what you want to. Lee says she can solve animal behavior problems by talking with them about whatever is going on. But she's clear she is not an animal behaviorist or a veterinarian. She visits It's a Zoo Life a few times a month, making animal assessments. They're currently working to bond two small foxes who came to the park from separate places. How does she feel about him? Would they bond, do you think? Um... Hmm. She, they, they will. She does, aw, aw, baby girl. So she does like him. Um, she's worried. She's like, but what if I'm not right for him? Abram says she had her doubts, but she was willing to buy into the idea. She says Lee helped her figure out why her wolf dog hybrid wasn't eating and was losing weight. Lee says, he said, he doesn't like cold food. And so that's just a really simple thing. You know, it makes sense, right? But you couldn't figure it out unless you asked him. So now Abrams adds a bit of hot water to his meals to warm them up. And she says he's maintaining weight. That's wonderful. And, and my staff is really kind and, and good with them. But then this is a different perception. This is just knowledge that we couldn't have. That's been, it's just been priceless for me. And as for the skeptics, if they just give me a chance, they realize, like, I don't know how it works, but it is real. Um, yeah. While Lee does professional consultations as an animal communicator, she says it's not her primary source of income yet. She hopes it will be someday.